Ever wondered how your favorite candies are made? A question as tantalizing as the sweet treats themselves. Imagine, if you will, a world brimming with vibrant colors and enticing aromas where the air is filled with the scent of melting sugar and the gentle hum of machinery. This is the world of candy making, a delightful fusion of art and science where confectioners paint with flavor and sculpt with sugar. From the first spoonful of sugar to the final dusting of powdered delight, each step in the candy making process is a marvel to behold. And it's not just about satisfying your sweet tooth. The creation of candy involves a fascinating blend of chemistry, physics, and a dash of magic. So whether it's a chewy caramel, a crunchy hard candy, or a soft melt-in-your-mouth marshmallow that tickles your fancy, we've got you covered. Prepare to embark on a sweet journey into the world of candy making. Before we dive into the making, let's take a quick detour into the history of candies. Candy, in its many forms, has been a sweet staple in human history for thousands of years. Its origins can be traced back to ancient civilizations who appreciated the simple pleasure of sweet treats. The Egyptians, for example, combined fruits and nuts with honey, crafting an early form of our beloved confections. Meanwhile, in the Far East, the Chinese were creating their version of sweets using honey and molasses. These concoctions were often used for digestive purposes, demonstrating an early understanding of the medicinal benefits of certain ingredients. In the Middle Ages, candies were considered a luxury reserved for the wealthy and the royal. Sugar was a valuable commodity, and the art of candy making was a craft only a few had mastered. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution of the 18th century that candy became accessible to the masses. With the advent of steam power and mechanized factories, sugar became cheaper and candy production soared. This was a game changer, transforming candy from an exclusive luxury to an everyday indulgence. The 19th century saw the birth of some of our favorite candies. The first chocolate bar was produced in England in 1831. Meanwhile, across the pond in the United States, the first wrapped penny candy, Tootsie Rolls, hit the shelves in 1896. Fast forward to the 20th century and the candy industry exploded with innovation. New flavors, shapes and types of candy were introduced, appealing to the sweet tooth of children and adults alike. Candy bars, gummy bears, lollipops and more filled the shelves of local stores, establishing candy as a staple of the modern diet. In the 21st century, the candy industry continues to evolve with a focus on diversity and inclusion in flavor profiles, catering to a variety of dietary needs and the ever-growing demand for novelty and creativity. Now that we have a taste of candy's rich history, it's time to unwrap the secrets behind its creation. Welcome to the candy kitchen where all the magic happens. In this realm of sugar and spice, the air is thick with the tantalizing promise of sweetness yet to come. This is where the humble ingredients transform into delightful morsels that dance on your tongue. The heart of the candy kitchen is the candy stove, a specialized piece of equipment designed to heat sugar mixtures to precise temperatures. It's not your average kitchen range, oh no. The candy stove is a master of precision, capable of reaching and maintaining the exact temperatures needed for each unique candy concoction. Adjacent to the stove, you'll notice the marble slab or cooling table. A throwback to traditional candy making, this smooth, cool surface is where hot sugar mixtures are poured to cool and harden. The slab's cool temperature helps to control the candy's crystallization, ensuring a perfect texture every time. The candy kitchen is also home to an assortment of molds, cutters and wrappers, each playing a vital role in shaping the candy's final form. From the simplest square to the most intricate design, these tools help bring our sweet visions to life. But perhaps the most crucial aspect of the candy kitchen is its cleanliness. A clean, controlled environment is essential to prevent unwanted crystals from forming in the candy, ensuring a smooth, flawless finish. So there you have it. A glimpse into the candy kitchen, a place where sugar, spice and everything nice come together to create confectionery wonders. With our kitchen all set, it's time to start the sweet and sticky process. The process of candy making is a perfect blend of science and art. Let's dive in, shall we? It all begins with the selection of ingredients. 
The main components often include sugar, corn syrup and flavorings. The type of sugar used can vary from granulated to brown, each lending a unique flavor and texture to the candy. Next, these ingredients are mixed together. The mixture is then cooked, and this is where things get interesting. Depending on the candy you're making, the temperature to which you cook your sugar mixture can drastically change the outcome. For example, a lower temperature results in a softer candy, like marshmallows or taffy, while a higher temperature gives you hard candies, like lollipops or brittle. Once the candy mixture reaches the desired temperature, it's time for shaping. The hot, pliable candy is poured into moulds or rolled out onto a surface to be cut into shapes. This is the stage where the candy starts to take form, where the creativity really shines through. But we're not done yet. After shaping, the candy must cool. This isn't just about waiting for it to no longer be hot to the touch. The cooling process allows the sugar crystals to set, which determines the final texture of the candy. If this process is rushed, the candy could end up too soft or too brittle. Now, while the candy cools, let's talk about flavorings. These can be added at different stages of the candy making process. Some flavors are best added while the mixture is cooking to infuse the whole batch. Others are added after cooking to keep the flavor fresh and potent. There's a world of possibilities from classic vanilla and chocolate to more adventurous flavors like lavender or chili. Once the candy is cooled, it's time for the finishing touches. This could be a dusting of powdered sugar, a drizzle of chocolate, or even a coating of brightly colored sugar crystals. These not only make the candy more appealing, but can also add another layer of flavor. And finally, the candy is packaged. This is an important step in the process because it helps to preserve the candy's freshness and flavor. It also gives the candy its final presentation, making it ready to be sold, gifted, or simply enjoyed. Voila! The candy is now ready to be wrapped and enjoyed. While we enjoy these sweet treats, here are a few fun facts about candies. Did you know that the largest piece of candy ever made was a Swedish fish that weighed a whopping 5,000 pounds? That's equivalent to an adult male hippopotamus. It was created in Canada in 2021 and was a sight to behold. Candy isn't just a modern indulgence either. The ancient Egyptians were known to combine fruits and nuts with honey to create a sweet treat, making them possibly the first candy makers in history. Now, if you were to guess the most popular candy in the world, what would you pick? Surprisingly, it's not chocolate, it's actually gum. Yes, that's right. The stretchy, chewable, bubble-blowing delight tops the list. And speaking of gum, the longest gum wrapper chain ever made measures over 101,000 feet. That's almost as long as the entire Great Wall of China. Have you ever thought about the color of your candy? Well, red is the first color that gets recognized and eaten in a bag of mixed candies. So those red M&Ms and gummy bears are likely to disappear first. Lastly, the world's most expensive candy is a chocolate truffle coated with edible gold and sells for a staggering $2,500 per pound. Isn't it fascinating to learn about the sweet side of candies? From history to the creation process, candies surely have a lot to offer. Our journey today has taken us through the art and science of candy making, a process that combines creativity, precision, and a dash of sweet magic. We've discovered that the confectionery world is not just about sugar and color. It involves a meticulous process, from the initial stages of sourcing ingredients to the final stages of packaging. The Candy Kitchen, a wonderland of sweet dreams, is where this delightful transformation happens. The candy making process, as we've learned, is a ballet of sorts. A delicate dance between temperature, timing and technique. It's a craft that requires patience and passion, and the result is a myriad of tastes, textures and shapes that bring joy to our senses. We have also delved into some fun and surprising facts about candies. Did you know that the first candies were used as medicine? Or that the largest candy ever made was a chocolate bar weighing over five tons? Candy is more than just a treat. It's a testament to human creativity and the never-ending pursuit of sweetness in our lives. It's a global love language, shared and enjoyed by people of all ages across all borders. Next time you unwrap a candy, remember the sweet journey it has taken to reach your taste buds. Until next time, stay sweet.